Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Chemical Engineering Concepts and guys these days we are dealing with uh, solution thermodynamics so this is uh, uh, another video on the solution thermodynamics series that we are going on with these days and uh, guys in the last video we uh, saw the basic Clapeyron equation the derivation of it right the application of it and the Clausius Clapeyron equation as well today we are going to explore some more problems based on the Clapeyron equations so without wasting time guys let's start right so this is the problem that we have the problem says that we have one kilogram of saturated steam which is present at 100 degree centigrade and 1.01325 bar pressure now it is contained in a rigid walled vessel right so it is contained in a rigid walled vessel of volume 1.673 meter cubes it cools to 98 degree centigrade right so it is to be cooled from 100 degree centigrade to 98 degree centigrade the saturation pressure is now this right it is 0.943 bar we have one kilogram of water vapor under these conditions which has a volume of 1.783 meter cube right now it is to find out that what is the amount of water vapor condensed so guys jab yaha 100 degree centigrade se 98 degree centigrade per temperature aayega so yaha poocha gaya hai ki kitna water vapor condensed ho jayega right what will be the actual amount ठीक है किलोग्राम में यहां पर गाइस अमाउंट पूछा गया है एंड व्हाट इज द अदर थिंग आस्क्ड सो द अदर थिंग आस्क्ड इज द लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन राइट लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन इसमें नेक्स्ट थिंग है जो पूछी हुई है सो गाइस आपको पता होगा क्लॉशियस क्लैपेरन इक्वेशन का जो टर्म हमने डिफाइन किया था जो इक्वेशन जो डिफाइन uh, की थी राइट right, डिराइव की थी वहां से हमारा सेकंड पार्ट का आंसर आने वाला है राइट सो लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम राइट सो गाइज हमको यहां पता होना चाहिए दैट द टोटल वॉल्यूम इज गोइंग टू रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज वी हैव रिजिड वॉल्स राइट सो जब टेम्परेचर हमारा 100 से 98 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड आ जाएगा सो एट 98 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन विद द वॉल्यूम सो वॉल्यूम इज गोइंग टू सेम राइट वन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन थ्री बिकॉज वी हैव रिजिड वॉल्स ऑफ द वेसल राइट इट विल बी कंपोज ऑफ the vapor volume right with the vapor fraction plus the uh, sorry the liquid volume and the vapor volume with the vapor fraction so x yahan par kya denote kar raha hai x is donating the fraction of vapors right so uh, we know that in the vaporization process hum jante hain guys maine aapko bataya bhi tha when we derive the clausius clapeyron equation that the volume of the liquid fraction is very very less than the volume of the vapor fraction right so here we can neglect this term right if we neglect this term okay let's see it is very negligible right so if it becomes negligible that means our x value we can find out so the x value that is coming up is 1.673 divided by the vapor volume right vapor volume is already given guys 1.789 and the fraction guys is coming up to be 0.935 right so i think samajh pa rahe honge what is actually happening here so if i talk about the quality because quality of uh, uh, jo hamara stream hai us wahan se hum nikal sakte hain ki actual amount kya hai uh, hamare uh, vapor fraction ka theek hai so for that uh, x can also be defined in this manner that is x is equal to the mass of vapor divided by the mass of liquid plus mass of vapor right so if we do this if we do this we know about the mass of liquid right or i should i should say that we know about this total right the mass of let me just rub it once so i know about the mass of liquid plus the mass of vapor so the total is we know that it is 1 kg right it is 1 kg given in the problem right 1 kg of saturated steam right so yes now if we know this uh, uh, this uh, uh, total right and we know the x value so we can find out mv right we can find out mv mv is coming up to be uh, right uh, so it is coming up to be after calculation 0.935 kg and if you subtract it by 1 you will get the liquid fraction right the liquid fraction that is coming up is 0.065 kilograms 
राइट सो गाइज दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वे पर दैट हैज बीन कंडेंस्ड ठीक है सो so, यहां तक आई होप आपको समझ में क्लियर आ गया होगा राइट right. नेक्स्ट मूव करते हैं अपने अगले पार्ट पे दैट इज हमको यहां पर निकालना है लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन फॉर दैट वी विल गो टू द्लॉशियस क्लैपर एन इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट दैट इक्वेशन इन दी टू फेज फॉर्म दो पैरामीटर्स दो फेज के फॉर्म में हम इसको लिख सकते हैं राइट सो दिस इज दैचुरेटेड प्रेशर एट पॉइंट टू दैचुरेटेड प्रेशर और आई शुड राइट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिंपल राइट सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज divided by p1 saturation right the bracket closes right and on the right hand side we will be having the latent heat of vaporization first from liquid to vapor then we have r that is the gas constant r1 upon t2 right minus 1 upon t1 right this is the formula that we will be using now what about t1 and t2 t1 is the initial temperature that is 100 degree centigrade right t2 is the final that is 98 degree centigrade right guys and what about the pressure so pressure initial pressure we know it is 1.01325 bar right and the final pressure is also given the final pressure is given up to be 0.943 bar theek hai guys so isko aap solve kijiye all the values are given to you the pressures are given the saturation pressures are given the r value we know it is 8.314 right and when we do when we calculate the value the value that we get for the latent heat of vaporization is coming up to be what it is coming up to be 41366.78 and it is there in joules per mole right and if we convert in joules per kg because the answer is to be given in joules per kg right so we have to divide the term by 18 okay we know about the moles to kilogram conversion uh, moles to gram conversion basically right so the value final the final value that is coming up is 2296.24 joules per kg so i hope this point is clear so the amount of vapor that is being condensed is coming up to be 0.065 kg and the latent heat of vaporization is coming up to be 2296.24 joules per kg so guys this was the first problem that we had let's look at another problem to explore the idea of clapeyron equation right so this is the next problem that we have amazing problem guys you will love it so the problem says that we have pure uh, we have actually pure uh, very pure liquid water which is to be sub cooled at uh, atmospheric pressure to temperatures well below 100 uh, 0 degree centigrade okay so sub cooling is to be, is to be done for a very pure liquid water so agar hum yahan par assume karke chalte hain as it is given in the problem 1 kg has to be cooled as a liquid to minus 6 degree centigrade so guys 1 kg uh, liquid liya humne usko minus 6 degree centigrade tak le gaye right in the liquid form and uske baad minus 6 se guys further ye aayega obviously it will come up to 0 degree centigrade and at 0 degree centigrade the freezing will start so the uh, problem mein aage kya given hai the problem further says that a small ice crystal of mass of very negligible mass is added to seed the subcooled liquid okay so it is being added to seed jisse ki crystal formation ho sake right ice crystals banne lage if the subsequent change occurs adiabatically right to so, jo subsequent change maine bola theek hai jo change that is from minus 6 to 0 degree centigrade that change is being done adiabatically that is there is no heat loss at atmospheric pressure what fraction of the system freezes to kitna hamara ice banega kitna crystals banega right what fraction is being asked here right and the final temperature obviously is asked now uh, it is also asked that we have to find out the total change in the entropy for the process right so these things are asked the given things are there i think problem is uh, very fundamental and very easy right you just need to think about it uh, a bit ठीक है ना तो गाइस गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन क्या है लेटेंट हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन गिवन है एट जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट इज 333.4 जूल्स पर ग्राम 
and the specific heat of subcooled liquid water is also given to be uh, 4.226 joules per gram per degree centigrade so guys uh, you can wait for like uh, you can like stop the video for 1 minute and try the question on your own first and then you will see the answer right i i would suggest that only theek hai so guys uh, without wasting time i would just uh, explain the problem i have explained the problem clearly and now let's see the solution for that right so what we are uh, what is going to be happen first of all uh the process the the sub, sub, subsequent process that is being explained here is given to be adiabatic okay so that is an important information right so it is adiabatic first of all right so the process actually is happening the process are happening happening in two steps right first uh, uh is involving the specific heat and the next one is involving the uh latent heat that is from minus 6 to 0 degree centigrade the specific heat will be there for that we just write the heat okay so it will be cp delta t right and in the next step in the next step we will be having the uh, freezing part right for that the heat of fusion with the amount of the uh liquid which is being converted okay which will be observing the phase change so wo amount hai guys ye ये जो x है x वो अमाउंट है लिक्विड का दैट इज बीइंग कन्वर्टेड इनटू व्हाट इनटू आइस ठीक है सो so वही हमसे पूछा गया है द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मटेरियल दैट विल बी फ्रीजिंग राइट सो इससे मल्टीप्लाई करते थे गाइड द इज हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन राइट सो इट इज द हीट ऑफ फ्यूजन एंड यस सिंस द प्रोसेस इज एडियाबेटिक द एडिशन ऑफ दो बोथ दीस थिंग्स इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो right so because it's an adiabatic process now you can substitute the values for cp we have 4.226 joules per gram per degree kelvin right uh, multiplied by the temperature difference that is we know okay we know that is final is zero right from 0 to 6 degrees uh, from minus 6 to 0 degree centigrade so it will be 0 uh plus 6 actually so it will be 6 kelvins because we have minus 6 degree centigrade i hope you understand the sign convention here okay so let me just rub this yes so we have this now let's x will be the uh, required value jo hame yahan par nikalni hai and we know about the heat of fusion that is being given here minus 333.46 joules per gram right so these are the things that are being given so guys agar hum is equation ko solve karte hain if we solve this equation the x value that comes up is 0.076 right so this is the only fraction which will be observing the freezing theek hai jo jo freeze ho raha hoga fraction that is that fraction right so guys let me just tell you about the temperature now right so yahan par hamara फाइनल टेम्परेचर क्या होने वाला है गाइस व्हाट विल बी द फाइनल टेम्परेचर फाइनल टेम्परेचर आप सभी को पता है इट विल बी जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड राइट और इफ आई राइट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ केल्विन सो इट विल बी 273.15 सेवेंटी एंड व्हाट विल बी द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर विल बी वॉट सिंपली यू कैन जस्ट सब्सैक्ट सिक्स फ्रॉम इट राइट सो टू सेवेंटी ओके सो दिस मच कैलविन विल बी द इनिशियल टेम्परेचर now we can write the equation because we have to find out finally the change in the entropy okay the total change in entropy in the process so we have two processes that means we will be having two terms for the entropy change right so first one will be involving the latent heat that is cp ln of t2 upon t1 right this is the first term and if i talk about the second term the second term will involve yes the fraction that is being freezing multiplied by the heat of fusion theek hai divided by the temperature at which the freezing occurs so freezing occurs at 0 degree centigrade that is t2 right so all the things are given to you guys cp value t1 t2 x value you have found out right heat of fusion is already given in the problem t2 you know and if you substitute all the values when we substitute the values the total change in entropy for this process is coming up to be 1.0347 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3 joules per grams per kelvin so guys these were the two amazing problem that i want to disc wanted to discuss with you or comment box mein likh ke batana sabhi log kaisa laga ye video
और इसी तरह से और भी वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू सॉल्यूशन थर्मोडायनेमिक्स जल्दी से जल्दी आने वाले हैं आपके पास सो so, हर वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन आपके पास आ जाए इसके लिए क्या करना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल गाइज यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नॉट मिस एनी अपडेट सो थैंक यू ऑल फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन वी विल मीट यू in the next session till then goodbye